Hi guys, Impact is here and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. This one is doing episode number 7 of my Road to Prestige Season 3, that is. And I've got a couple of things to talk about at minimum here. And I'm going to try and speak a little bit slower because people sat and I've been told I spoke a little fast in uh, the comments of one of my videos before. And reviewing this video, I tested the mic and I think I do speak a little bit too fast as well. So I'm going to take it a little bit slower, or I'm attempting to anyway. But it says on the left of the screen that I'm speaking quietly. I don't feel like I am, so if this is a bit quiet then I'm sorry but I'm trying it not to be too loud because my parents are sleeping and I'm speaking like I normally would so I don't know why it's only going up a few centimeters on this sound meter or whatever it's called so yeah anyway first of all in this video I want to talk about the Euro 2016 result or the finale or, or the, not the finale but the final um, it is currently Monday the 18th at 12 p.m. when this video goes live but the finale, you might be thinking, oh, hang on, why are you doing this now and not on the 11th, the day after the result? Now, I'll tell you that now. Pretty much, I pre record videos, I've said this plenty of times, I've even had a video pretty much based on this. But, I pre record videos, it's currently the 11th at quarter to one in the morning when I'm doing this. So, the result, I've just, I've finished watching the game at half past 10. So, not too long ago, probably about two and a half hours ago roughly but due to pre-recording videos this one is done up on Monday the 18th I'm sorry but this is what it is but anyway the result Portugal v France the final now before I do get into the actual result let me just tell you now that I did think France were the better team France had absolutely phenomenal Ronaldo did get injured for Portugal so that was a huge blow for them but somehow Portugal did end up winning 1-0 after added time or extra time I should say Eddie has scored in like the 108 no 107 what minute did he score in? ooh can't remember 108 something like that he scored in like the second minute or something like that I don't know the second minute of um the second half second minute of second half of added extra time I think I may be a little bit off but like I said it was two and a half hours ago so I can't remember bang on each stat in the game but Portugal did, not, did end up winning the Euro 2016, so yeah, there's that little bit of information out of the way. I'm not going to review the whole tournament because there's just no point. I've mentioned pretty much most results anyway at the least in most of my videos. But the next bit of news is from Sky Sports. Now if you do remember one of my previous videos I said I'm going to uh, concentrate on one thing, in other words, I don't know what my teammate's doing here. He tried to punch me to tell me to get out of the way. One absolute prick, by the way. Anyway, I said in, um, I can't remember what video, but in one of my recent videos, I think I said about, um, instead of just going through these guy sports information, such as me saying, this person is interested in going to the Chinese League or Chelsea are willing to sign Messi and stuff like that, and just going through each bit of news, I'm actually going to concentrate will concentrate on one piece of news and go a bit in, into more depth with it. So in other words, let me just go into one now. Sunday uh, paper talk, 7.14, so this is 7.14 in the morning, 14 minutes after Sky Sports started the news for that day. Um, and here we have the paper talk, Arsenal, Borussia Dortmund and Fenerbahce are all chasing Barcelona midfielder Arda Touran. If you don't know any of them clubs by the way, obviously you know Arsenal anyway, you must know Arsenal. They're the team I support, they're in the English Premier League, Borussia Dortmund, German League, Bundesliga. Probably, well not probably, they are like the second best team in that league. And Fenerbahce, they're in the uh, Turkish League I want to say. Oh, I could be so wrong here. Turkish League is where Robin Van Persie went from, um, from Manchester United. I only say Van Persie because that's the only player I really know who's gone there. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, chasing Barcelona midfielder, midfielder Arda Turan, Turkish player I believe. Now what, who, who do I think he would go to out of them? To be honest, it depends what he wants. If he wants Champions League football, and I don't even know if Fenerbahce are in the Champions League, but if he wants 
to be a big club and he'll probably go to Borussia Dortmund or Arsenal if we're willing to sign him that is like I said this is paper talk if, but if he, it depends if he, he might want to stay in his home country and go to, uh, to Fenerbahce this is if I'm not wrong by the way if Fenerbahce is the Turkish league and if our deterrent is actually Turkish I'm just waiting in before he's like Jamaica and uh, Fenerbahce is in like I don't know the same league as the Bohe Bohemians, which is the Irish League, which I definitely know is not the case, but yeah. So like I said, I'll concentrate on a little bit of news and go into depth of it. If that news has not got much in it, then I will go into another story, like this one. Not really much to say, other than I will say a little bit about him if we did sign him. So I don't mind if Osman did sign him, but I don't think we need him, to be honest. He didn't feature much for um, Barcelona, as far as I'm aware. And yes, we do have Theo Walcott. Alex Awobi, Alex Oxley Chamberlain, Aaron Ramsey can even play on that right wing or right mid. So you might be thinking, yeah, Ramsey's not really a, right, uh, a winger sort of player. Alex Awobi's a youngster, he's not always going to get the chance to play. Walcott and Chamberlain are just fucking shit. Now, I don't disagree with everything, but Walcott isn't. Well, Walcott and Chamberlain aren't exactly the best players. Obviously, Chamberlain is like 23, Walcott's like 27 or something. Walcott will be getting there very soon. He's almost at the peak. He's not had a really good season for like, in his whole career, to be honest. So his next season, so the season coming up, 2016-17, could be his best season. You never know. Chamberlain, when he's uh, not injured, does make some really good choices, other than uh, being greedy after the time. Alex Wobie's a fucking beast of a player to watch. Brings so much life into the squad. So, would I want him at Arsenal? Not particularly. Not particularly. But, I wouldn't mind if he was there. Right, next story, let's go find one. Oh, here we go, morning whispers. Quarter past eight in the morning on the, uh, the tenth. The top ten whispers. In first place, we have Alexandre Lacazette from Leon to Arsenal. I, I don't need to say anything about Lacazette, you already know what I say about him. Been through it plenty of times. And Julian Draxler is in fifth from the uh, CFL Wolfsburg to Arsenal. Now, if I'm, not, if I'm correct, he plays normally central. Is he a central player? Correct me in the uh, comments if I am wrong. But, do I think we should sign him again? No, not really. If, cause if I'm correct and he is a central player, more of an attacking central player as well, then we've got Mesut Ozil there who can play there, Santi Cazorla can play there, Ramsey can play there, Wilshere can play there, Granit Xhaka can play there. Too many midfielders. If we're going to sign another midfielder, I say we either sign um, a replacement left wing just in case Alexis does get injured again. Or another CDM, because we did obviously lose Arteta, Flamini, and um, Thomas Wazinski. I know we've lost a set of centre attacking mid, but that's uh, Granit Xhaka. We lost two cent uh, CDMs, and we haven't gained any. Obviously, we did gain Mohamed El Naini, but that wasn't as a um, that was just as a not a replacement. It was just temporary. Whilst ours were injured, but because they're gone now, that's one replaced. We've got to replace another one. That's what I think anyway. Number seven, we have Arsenal, from Arsenal to Juventus is Alexis Sanchez, which actually does get mentioned later on that uh, Arsene Wenger said he was not for sale. So ignore that. That's not a whisper anymore because yes, he is not for sale. Thank God for that. I think they bid like 34 million for him. If we let him go, then Arsene Wenger would be a little bit drunk. We can't let go our star man. He was almost top goal scorer last season, and he was injured for half of it. Coming short behind Giroud. I think he was actually he did end up becoming our bet, uh, top goal star in the Premier League, and I have no clue how I died there. By the way, that's why I watched the kill cam. I got three bulleted by the VMP in the toes, or below the knee. I just don't understand Call of Duty sometimes. But anyway, back to the news. In tenth, and another Arsenal little bit of news. We do have Arda Turan from Barcelona to Arsenal. Well, like I've said I've already mentioned that in the video, so I'm not going to go into detail with it. Right. Any more news to go through this video? Oh, by the way, I will quickly mention my random class generator, which went up yesterday actually, will actually have uh, been a schedule for streaming. I want to attempt to do a schedule for streaming. I'm playing that now, but I haven't actually done the video just yet. I haven't even got the gameplay for it. So I'm saying this in it possibly was my streaming schedule. What? I might make it my streaming schedule if I don't, and I'm sorry that I've said this in this video. But if it's not, then stay tuned. That will be coming soon. 
possibly in another Ride the Prestige episode or something else. So stay tuned for that. Alright. Oh, my own video. Oh, uh, anything else? I know there's a little bit more news than just that. We're only at about half ten in the morning. Here we go. 10.49 a.m. Leon President Jean or Jean uh, Michel Olga since this Arsenal have, no, uh, have not made a bid for Alexandre Lacazette and says the back will not be leaving the club. That's like, he could say that, but Lacazette, you don't actually know if he's going to leave or not. I've already gone through Lacazette before. There's a little quote, look, well, not quote, but there's a little uh, bit of what he said at the bottom. He's quoting what he said, but it's not actually a quote, if you know what I'm saying, really. Arsene Wenger did not mention anything to uh, the president while in France for the Euros. So yeah, there's that. Oh, yeah, a bit of uh, Manchester City news here, by the way. Joe Hart faces battle to retain his first team place at Manchester City under Pep Guardiola with Barcelona goalkeeper Mark under Testersion expected to join the club in the summer. And I actually think that's going to be a very good signing if they get that. Testersion is a decent keeper, to be honest. Joe Hart. I still think he's a decent keeper, I'm Joe Hart, he's not in the Euros, he did fucking awful in the Euros. He plays fantastic for Manchester City, but absolutely horrendous for the country. He's had, he's had a few good games for um, England, but not as many good games as he has for Manchester City, probably due to the fact that he's not really used to playing, I, 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 that's what I wanted to say anyway, he's not really used to playing with England, but he plays with City on a weekly basis. He's going to have more bonds there than he does for an England squad. That might be what it is, especially when our defenders are from Manchester United and Everton. I think that was our defenders. But anyway, top 10 whispers here again. This time it is at bang on 12 o'clock. Lacazette is on first of the Lyon to Arsenal again. Jack Julian Jack Tula is in full from Wolfsburg to Arsenal. Arda Turan did creep up to number 7. So yeah, they're back in the same place. He's not going to go into them because I've already mentioned them in this video. Here we go, this is where it says that Juve foul in Sanchez bid. Juventus have confirmed that Arsenal rejected a 34 million bid for Alexis Sanchez. We informed the Gunners who asked for 34 million, surely a reasonable fee. Uh, fee. However, we, when we responded to Lewis' request, Arsenal told us they, they will not sell the power. So that's what I was mentioning in earlier. Right, ex-Arsenal striker, I believe it was. Kevin Campbell believes Arsenal Wenger will not leave Arsenal for England. There's been plenty of that um, reports for for the whole day, but it says it here again. Wenger to snub England. Arsenal striker Kevin Campbell, the former Arsenal striker Kevin Campbell, does not expect Arsenal Wenger to, to stay the England manager job, even if he is offered it. But there is a report on it that, um, whatever it said, um, Arsenal Wenger said, would he take the job? Why not? But he doesn't see him taking it in the next year because he likes to see out his contract. So he's got one more year of Arsenal. He'd rather see that out than join England as of now. So they might make an agreement maybe somewhere in a year that yes, he will become England manager just in the coming year instead of straight away. It'll be agreed to, agree to sign at the end of the season pretty much. So yeah, breaking news, Manchester United have a clear run to sign in Juventus midfielder Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba as Real Madrid end their interest in, in Euro 2016 start for economic reasons. So that's what I understand. Now if Paul Pogba did return to Manchester United, let me tell you now that um, the league would be absolutely impeccable. The league would literally be the best in the world now. It's been the best for a couple of years now anyway, as far as I know. I still think it's the best league. But with Pogba and all the managers and all the other players coming here, Let's just say, uh, say um, Zlatan's here as well, isn't he? All these players coming to the Premier League, all these managers, top quality managers and players coming to the league. It would make the league so much better than the rest of the leagues. From Zlatan leaving, I know this is uh, about Pogba, but Zlatan leaving PSG makes France, the French league even... Like, it makes that league more competitive now, but it makes our league more competitive. So it's pretty much the same thing. We're still... A, a step ahead, or too many steps ahead of anyone, any other league. I'm trying to see if there is any more news to report at the end of this video. Oh yeah, Akin Fenwa by the way, Ali Bayo Akin Fenwa, has one for League 2 sign, so uh, Wickham Wanderers on a free transfer. He was released by AFC Wimbledon at the end of the season. So he, his new club is Wickham Wanderers for League 2. So anyone who's a big fan of uh, Akin Fenwa, which I suppose many people actually are, 
start watching my Commanderers games if I ever stream them. That's probably going to do it for this video since I've only got about a minute left into it. So, I will see you next time, which is actually later today for the Walking Dead video. So stay tuned for that, and if you did enjoy this video, leave that comment and subscribe. Leave your suggestions down below, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, and see you later. Have a nice day.